the little guys back out at this point, but not the Jagdmeister. This one is going to be about one of the lessons I had to figure out myself that I think L2 of you can also benefit from. You gotta stop being a people pleaser. Trying to be likable is pointless because of the exact reason why you felt the need to get other people to like you. It is not gonna work because of the exact same reason why you felt the need for validation in the first place. A vicious cycle, really. Fruitless endeavor. Only thing you gotta do is to realize the underlying cause and that underlying cause is why it is pointless to begin with. I mean... I've been faithful to God my whole life, grew up going to church my whole life. I wouldn't dare sit, step foot in a church again. It is easy to fall into this tendency, you know, trying to make people like you care about their validation, especially as an average or sub-average young man, because you are so deprived of it, right? Just like selling yourself short, underestimating your abilities. This is also very common among young men, especially for people who grow up uh, without validation and positive reinforcement. This often leads to self-depreciation. That is the tragic part of it. It turns into a self-fulfilling prophecy. At some point, you gotta come to the realization that it is all pointless. This is the mindset you gotta have. Especially because of the fact that you need the validation, it is pointless to seek it artificially. I'm gonna research some churches of Satan because I wanna go to the church of Satan. You know, because I want Satan to bless me. I want Satan to bless me with a bad. I want Satan to bless me with, with some big money. I want Satan to bless me with a BMW. You know, I want Satan to bless me with success. You know, you know, I'm willing to bow down to Satan. A good example to this. Actually, this is what made me make a video on this very topic. Under my meet and squat video, a lot of people were saying that he made that face reveal because he said he would. You actually want to show your face. If not, why do you give in to these terrible people who demand it? I don't really want to, but I gave my word, so here we are. First of all, let me say this. I don't believe that, personally. Often people who get that kind of success online grow ego. So I bet he thought, oh, my superior humor, my superior intelligence will halo my looks. He wanted his e-fame to be a bit more personal, a bit more real, you know. This is my opinion. Because let's be real here, guys. It is not a big deal if you don't make a face reveal at 1 million subscribers. Not like people subscribe to you because they care about your sub count. They were gonna sub regardless, bro. People don't care what sub count you have. I believe he made that face reveal because he wanted it. He wanted his e-fame to be more personal, to finally get that validation he could never get in real life on a, you know, more personal level. This also happens to many people who make videos in this part of town as well. They somehow make this YouTube stuff, their YouTube channel, their identity, because this is the only place where they can finally get some validation. It is important to realize that as long as they don't see you, it is not real validation. Don't make that channel your identity, bro. There was a comment from a viewer, he was calling me a, a dopamine hunter, something like that. I can't remember the word he used, but basically he was trying to say, uh, you are chasing dopamine. He thinks I am making these videos for validation. Bro, trust and believe that ain't even the top 5, top 10 anymore. If the comments under my videos, comments praising me, guessing me up, was why I am making videos, I would have stopped a long time ago, brother. A long time ago. Maybe at first, you know, at first it was indeed a dopamine hit, you know, because just like many people in this community, just like those content creators, many men of our generation, I also grew up without any proper real life positive reinforcement, positive real life validation. But unlike them, unlike the rest of those content creators, I was able to realize that YouTube is not real validation. No YouTube channel for your face, bro. I'm willing to break bread with Satan. I would love to sit down and have dinner with Satan. You know, if, if the devil was a live, real man, if he was a physical person, I would love to sit down with Satan and have a meal with him. We can drink some champagne. I'll sign a contract in blood. I don't care because I want the good life. And if the devil can bless me with what I desire in life, why not? But going back to the meet and squat thing without rambling too much, I don't believe that he made that face reveal because he said he would, but because he wanted to. He thought his videos would halo his looks.
But that being said, I can actually see both sides being true, potentially. It wouldn't surprise me that much if he indeed didn't want to make a face reveal, but being a people pleaser, he felt like he had to. Didn't want people to think badly about him. Now thinking about it, it might be actually true that he made that face reveal cause he said he would. Because this is a common, a very common trait among sub-5 men. Being a people pleaser, a very common trait. Caring too much about what others think about them because they never got the necessary validation growing up. Bro, like, you don't owe people anything. You don't have to make a face reveal just because you said you would. So what, bro? Not like you signed that contract. I said I would make a live stream. So what if I don't? You know what I'm saying? If I make a live stream, it is going to be because I want to. Not because I said I would. Oh my god, Rehab, I wouldn't expect this from you. You said you would make a live stream. Sue me. Oh my god, I said I would make a face reveal at 1 million subscribers. So what, dude? Then you change your mind. That is how the concept of changing mind works. You don't make such an important and consequential decision so lightly. You just don't. Guys, listen. I am announcing it right now. I will make a face reveal. Rehab room face reveal at 1 million subscribers. Not even 1 million, 100k. Get me to 100,000 subscribers and <laughs> I will make a face reveal. <laughs> Oh my god, Rehab, you said you would make a face reveal at 100k. You tricked me, bro. You tricked me into subscribing, then didn't do it. Sue me. Hail Satan all day. Hail Satan. You know? Like, it doesn't matter what people say, positive or negative. I am used to being disliked, you know? There were many comments under that video, meeting squad video, that were blasting me. The insults, name calling, the usual buzzwords, you know, the I word comes out. But not a single argument on why I am wrong. I am open to criticism, but at least tell me why I am wrong. But you know how it is with those fake people. Zero argument, zero comprehension of what they watch, but 100% name calling. I can't stand those people, man. People with fake moral high ground blasting me under that video. Among all the people who talked about his passing, I am the only one who kept it real and pointed to the idea that his looks might have played a role in his depression. And of course, my video got hordes of NPCs tilted. Their just word fallacy got challenged. They are always 100% emotion and 0% actual thinking and critical reasoning. It is the usual script with them. I will show some of the comments, less vile ones, somewhat more civilized ones. I have to have a certain level of civility on this channel. I can't show those vicious comments calling me the i -word. This guy says, it is crazy how a man dies and you go to make a video like this in the wake of it. What is actually wrong with you people? Who gives a shit if he was attractive or not? Brother, the world outside does. I was just trying to provide a logical, reasonable explanation as to why he must have been in such depths of depression to the point of drinking himself to death. That's all. Simply put, a book is much more than its cover. <laughs> and people did not love Mitten Squad for his looks. You know, actually this might be the only part this guy is actually correct. People indeed did not love him for his looks because he was making videos without showing his looks. He made that uh, face reveal once after he hit 1 million subscribers. If anything, I would actually argue that if he showed his face from the get-go in his videos, like, you know, how streamers put a cam of themselves in the corner, if he did that from the very first video, my personal opinion is that he would have never been able to get to those numbers he got. You don't have to be physically attractive to be attractive. <laughs> his massive audience shows that. It is actually funny, because his example proves me right, not him. What does his massive audience show in reality? When you consider the fact that he got that audience without showing what he looked like. And his views went down after the face reveal. Put two and two together, brother. You and all the people in your comments are just weird, bruh. Tone deaf and looking to explain the losing of a good man by something as shallow as looks. Please take a walk. <laughs> this is comedy, bro. This is actually comedy. Something as shallow as looks. I am sure he felt so superior writing that. Bro, people are shallow. Whether you admit it or not doesn't change anything. Something as shallow as looks can definitely push a man, push a person into deep depression. It can definitely lead to 
into social isolation and consequently into a vicious cycle. Oh, you are trying to explain it by looks. Brother, the evidence, the evidence points to that. Like, look at the evidence. He was mute during his high school and teenage years. Didn't utter a single word. I looked online but couldn't find anything about his love life. The fact that he was a heavy drinker, the fact that he turned to escapism like hardcore gaming, his suicidal humor multiple times in the only 4-5 videos I have watched. You are gonna say, oh, he was joking when he said those stuff, but at some point you gotta ask if there's some truth to it or depression underlying. Then notice how he got angry at that college life question. You guys remember that, right? He got mad. He got actually mad. He was like, don't you ever ask me that question again. He was legit tilted at the question. It gives you a general idea. Then you have his self-deprecating humor about his face, about his looks. And I know what you're gonna say. Oh bro, he was joking. He didn't mean those comments. Maybe. You don't know that. I don't know that. But at some point, you gotta ask if it is indeed a sign of loneliness, a sign of low self-esteem stemming from his looks. That is all I said in that video. Just so much evidence points to my hypothesis, which is that he was likely lonely in his formative years. That led to isolation. In turn, he turned to video games and alcohol. The drinking issues showed. So many signs point to my hypothesis. If I see smokes coming out of my house, I am not gonna go inside. I am a call the fire department. Oh, how do you know there's a fire, bro? Did you go inside yourself? How do you know? Brother, the evidence. The evidence sees it that way. If it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, swims like a duck, it is a duck, brother. You can get mad at me all you want. All those people calling me the I-word and stuff. I have yet to see one, even one commenter saying something like, you already have. I knew him personally, man. You are wrong about why he was so depressed. He didn't used to have any alcohol problems. And he had a very loving partner up until that point where he lost his beloved sister in a tragic accident. His sister was everything to him. He just couldn't recover from that and started drinking. It wasn't because of loneliness or anything like that. I would apologize and admit I am wrong. But all I see is the usual buzzwords. They can call me whatever they want, man. You can call me a horrible man. You can call me the I word, you know, doesn't matter. It isn't me calling his looks sub-5 that lead men like Mitten Sukuat and myself to depression. Doesn't matter if those people call me a horrible man. My conscience is very clear. Is yours? You got some real shit views on life. <laughs> that is the part of life you don't want to see. But just because you don't want to see it doesn't mean it isn't there for people like myself and Mitten Sukkot. Why are you roasting his looks? What do these guys even watch, man? This guy isn't even capable of basic comprehension. It is impressive, really. <laughs> people gotta put some brain power into their comments, man. But then again, what are they gonna put, bro? What is there to put, you know? The only thing I said was, he was sub-5. Which is not roasting, but the truth, man. Truth. He was not a looker. People are faker than a $3 bill, man. Oh, he was not ugly. Beauty is inside. Dude, just stop. Oh, you blame the victim. I didn't blame him at all. At no point in that video I blamed him. Or even implied that he was to blame. It wasn't him I blamed. But of course, that point was lost on those people as well. <laughs> you shouldn't expect anything else, really. It goes back to the, the whole insufficient CPU thing. It is like expecting a 15-year-old computer to run cyberpunk at 300 FPS. <laughs> not gonna happen. Oh, he was not ugly. Bro, you're a liar. All of this fake, by the way. If it was not fake, people like me and Meet and Squant wouldn't have to go through the stuff we do in life. All fake virtual signaling. And understand something here, alright guys, understand this. Why I can't stand the fakeness of those people. It is not because they are fake. Sure, they are fake, but it is the fact that they think they are the good guys here. Those people, you know, calling me a horrible man just because I called his facial aesthetics poor. They believe they have the moral high ground. That is what actually pisses me off. But if you looked at how those people treat men who look like Mitten Squat in real life, let's say it is a 21-year-old woman in college, she might believe in what she says right now. She might indeed love Mitten Squat herself. Or rather, Mitten Squad's videos, his videos, uh, not himself. It is the YouTuber they love. It is the persona they love. But when you look at how she treats men who look like Mitten Squad, is why men who look like him are often on a self-destructive path. 
this fake moral high ground they have just infuriates me man all fake just know that all that fake mumbo jumbo cause you feel sorry that he passed away didn't make his years in high school any easier where he spent years without uttering a word ask yourself why that is if you are so right about my worldview this is why it is very important to stop caring about those people with a fake moral high ground I am not gonna stop making videos because all those people are calling me a horrible man, the I word or whatever, you know. That is actually kind of funny because the feeling here is mutual. That is exactly how I feel about them. Horrible people. This is why what we do here is so important. This stuff right here is the core of my channel actually. I know this one won't get the same views as me roasting some crappy PUA, you know. But this is the core of the BP in my mind. Understanding this stuff is so crucial, bro. This is why I'm not gonna pay attention to people calling me the usual buzzwords, you know. Calling me a horrible man, the I word, whatever man, whatever. But just know that you don't have the moral high ground. Just because you want to feel better about it doesn't make our realities go away. He was clearly on a self-destructive path. I relate to Mitten Squad more than you ever will. The fact that they genuinely believe that they are the good guys here actually pisses me off, bro. <laughs> it is not the buzzwords that gets me. It is this. <laughs> you are not the good guy here. Understand that. You can call my worldview messed up. You can call me the I word, whatever. But just because you believe that La La Land didn't make my years in high school and college any easier. Or meeting squads, for that matter. Your fake positivity and fake moral high ground didn't change the facts on the ground for people like me and meeting squad. But of course, they don't have the heart to face the reality. And the reality is that he didn't die from alcohol. Your favorite YouTuber didn't die from alcohol. He committed suicide. That is the cold harsh truth right there. Getting angry at me won't change that. They don't have the heart to admit it. My video hit a nerve there. This is the fundamentals that I want you to make your second nature. But sadly, it isn't appreciated as much as me clowning a delusional PUA like yet. Or you know... Uh, showing the clips of blonde hot women saying they prefer good looking men. Oh wow, what a groundbreaking discovery, bro. <laughs> this is much more important. Digesting the notion that you can't be a people pleaser in life. You can't seek validation because you are deprived of it. And I can't even show the rest of the comments here. I mean, I have to retain a certain level of civility in these videos, so I can't even show the rest. While comments were dime a dozen, you know, the I word comes out. They can call me whatever, man. I ain't gonna stop making these videos just to please those people. Don't be a people pleaser in life.